Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back. In a beautiful hadith, it's a sound hadith collected by Imam Muslim. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Man sanna fil islami sunnatan hasanatan kana lahu ajruha wa ajru man amila biha ila yawm al qiyamah. Which means, whoever introduces a good tradition, a righteous practice in Islam, so that Muslims will act upon it and will follow it. Not only that, he will be rewarded for it, but every single person who will practice it will be rewarded, and a similar reward of that will be added to the account of the person who inspired people to do it, who revived the Sunnah. Many people misunderstand the Hadith, unfortunately, and they think this is an invitation to make your own awrad and to make your own form of worship and your own jama'ah or cult. None of that is actually permissible, nor is it even indicated or referred to in the hadith. Rather, the hadith refers to many of the forgotten and neglected sunan, whether sunan or mandatory practices, where somebody comes to a community or people have no clue about any of that. So he starts teaching them. They start practicing. He will be rewarded and every single person will practice this sunnah or this fard will be rewarded. And the same reward will be also granted to the person who guided them to do it. Yet without diminishing the reward of either one of them. Somebody will say, but why would Muslims forget these sunan or these even practices? You said even fara'at. Yes, that is true. Because in another sound hadith, the Prophet sallallahu said in the hadith which is narrated by Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. May Allah be pleased with him. Bada al-Islam gharibaan wa sayaudu gharibaan kama bada. Fatuba lil ghuraba. The word gharib means odd means strange something that people are not used to so when islam started off people perceived it as an odd message as a strange religion what kind of religion is this you want us to worship one god and abandon and forget all his gods around the kaaba or you want us to stop drinking and stop eating this and stop doing that so it was perceived as a strange religion but gradually the message spread all over the peninsula and eventually all over the world. Alhamdulillah. The Prophet ﷺ prophesies that the time will come where Islam will be perceived as a strange message. The same way that the Meccan pagans perceived it in the beginning. Not even from non-Muslims, but even from among Muslims. Whom when you come to teach them about a sunnah or a prophetic tradition, they will label you as an extremist or a fanatic or whatever. Why? Because you see you practicing what they think it is bad. What they think it is backworded. While you're simply practicing the deen. This is instructed by Allah. This is the guidance of the Prophet ﷺ. So when the companions heard what the Prophet ﷺ said, that the Islam will turn around and also it will be perceived by the end of time as a strange message, then he made a dua. He said, Tuba lil ghuraba. Tuba refers to one of the names of Jannah. So may Allah grant Jannah to al ghuraba to those practicing Muslims who will be perceived by others as strangers, as fanatic, because are practicing the deen. The Prophet ﷺ said, may Allah bless you. May Allah admit you to Jannah. May Allah make you eligible to enter heaven because of your steadfastness. Not only that, as a matter of fact, once the Prophet ﷺ said to his companions, as the Prophet ﷺ taught his companions in the beginning of his message, 
that if you remain steadfast, Allah will show you victory and you will prosper and Islam will prevail. Now after Islam prevailed and the companions were victorious, they conquered Mecca, they conquered Hawazin or Thaqif, and mashallah, they conquered Asham and here and there, and they challenged the Roman Empire. The Prophet sallallahu said, those of you, he said to his companions, who will live after me, they will witness. Some days, some time, where patience on practicing Islam will be similar to holding on a burning coal. Those who will be practicing their deen will be like holding their fist around a burning coal. Why? Because they will be looked at as strangers. That's why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, as a result of the widespread of corruption and mischief on earth, a lack of knowledge, lack of the practice of the deen. He said, لِلْعَامِلِ فِيهِنَّ أَجْرُ خَمْسِينَ مِنْكُمْ So the Prophet ﷺ dropped the greatest glad tidings for us. He said to his companions, at that time, the turbulent times, where patience will be required to practice the deen, like holding on a burning coal, a person who will practice Islam shall receive a word from Allah Similar to the word of 50 of you, the companions said 50 of us or 50 of them. Look how much their word will be augmented. He said, rather 50 of you. They said, how come? He said, إِنَّكُمْ تَجِدُونَ عَلَى الْخَيْرِ أَعْوَانًا وَلَا يَجِدُونَ Because you have people to assist you to do what is good. You have the Prophet and his companions among you. But at that time, the practicing Muslims would not find the true leaders to guide them, the righteous company to establish Islam and to support them. And that's why when individually each and every one of them will be holding fast to his deen, the Almighty Allah will augment the reward so that it will be similar to the reward of 50 of the companions of the Prophet The short and brief series about reviving the forgotten Sunan is intended to bring Muslims back to their traditions. Maybe, alhamdulillah, you know most of these traditions and Sunan or Fara'id, but maybe others have no clue about it. So this program is intended to bring Muslims around the table of the Quran and around the table of the guidance of Prophet Muhammad wasallam. So let's learn all together some of the forgotten Sunan and not only practice them, but also try to impart this knowledge and share it with others so that we will receive a similar word of everyone who will act upon this guidance. May the Almighty Allah forgive us all our sins and guide us to what is best. To be continued. And until next time, I leave you all in the care of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.